again everybody I have another project for you today that is simple and cheap that's the best part this is a candy bar holder and you know candy bars are pretty cheap but you can make it really cute with this little cute holder all right the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock and it is seven inches tall and six inches long I scored it at two and five eighths and five and three eighths. Then I took my one and three fourths circle punch and I turned it around so I could see the back and I punched just half of a circle out of the middle panel. Okay? Now you're gonna stamp the present from Color Me Christmas all over. I use cherry cobbler ink. Then you're going to fold this little flap in and you want to use sticky strip again because um, when you use just regular tape snail it's going to come apart. It's not going to hold, uh, you know, when you go to give that candy bar um, to someone it's going to be falling apart. You don't want that. Okay, so fold it over and match up those lines and do like that, okay? Now, of course, because I'm making a video, I forgot you also want to do tape right here on the end. So make sure you put the tape there before you actually tape it up. Okay, there we go. Now, over here, you can see the little crimped ends. If you have a crimper, awesome. Stick it in your crimper. Just turn it about three or four seconds, not even time, just one, two, three. Now, if you don't have a crimper, I can show you how to use you're simply scored to make those lines crimped. You're going to lay this here on your simply scored and you're going to score it every half inch, I don't know, for maybe three or four lines depending on how crimped you want it. Yeah, I think, let's see, I did five. You got to push really hard because there's two layers of cardstock. Looks like I need one more right there. Okay, so there we go. So it looks like it's been crimped. Now, for the belly band, this is called a belly band, you can see it slides off, you're going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock, three and a fourth by seven inches, and score it at three and a half, okay? I'm going to put a piece of Candy Cane DSP, this is two and five eighths by three. All right, let's do that. And now I'm gonna crimp it the same way I did before, except this time I'm going to do it on the sides, okay, so just lay it up there and every eighth of an inch, every line, just go down, oops, moving too fast, okay, there, now we need to make a hole for our ribbon, and I just am using my half inch circle punch, but you can use just a regular um, hole punch and I'm going to punch it about in the middle like that. Now I'm going to put it around here like this and I'm going to take about, I think it's about 18 inches of the gumball green satin stitched ribbon and I'm going to go through the hole around the back and over here I want to tie a bow and I'm going to show you how I tie a bow. I make sure that my ribbons are flat, okay, flat and flat. I'm going to put this under and I'm going to make sure that I take this one right here and twist it. Just see how it's like that? Well, I want it like that, okay? And very carefully I make my bow, making sure that my ribbon stays flat. You don't want a whole lot of twist it up in there, okay? So there we go. There, now we have the bow. Now we need our cute little Santa guy, okay? And I'm going to use a blender pen. This is a Whisper White 2 and 5 8 inches square. And I'm going to stamp this cute little dude in Stazon Black. Stazon is the best ink to use when you are watercoloring or um, using the blender pen because it does not bleed. The regular uh, classic black ink will bleed. Now this is a blender pen and I'm going to squeeze my stamp pad a little bit to get some ink there on the, the lid. And I want to run my marker on my paper to make sure, see I was using orange the last time, get all of that out. Okay, 
Now I have a watercoloring tutorial on my blog that my mother did. My mother is a professional watercoloring artist and I can never watercolor. I tell her I can't do it, I can't do it. So she, I said, she taught me how to do it and I said, Mom, you gotta do this for my blog readers. And I'm gonna just show you a little bit of what she taught me. Anything that sticks out is gonna have a shadow behind it and it's gonna be darker than the rest of the, uh, the object. So right here I can see that this white fur part would be sticking out so the fur would cast a shadow. So just right behind it. I'm gonna start there. I wanna use my ink behind all of the things. A beard would hang over, so that creates a shadow. And in his armpits there would be a shadow, okay? So that's where I'm gonna put my darkest ink. Now I'm gonna go back up here. I'm not dipping in again right now. And I'm just gonna start slowly going up. And as we go up, it gets lighter. The closer to, some of you might wanna take some off. The closer you get to the sun or the light source, the lighter it is, okay? See how that is? And if you go too dark at the top, then just get more and make the bottom part darker. Okay? See how that works? Oops, I didn't need to do that. I'm going to take some of that off. Now I'm going to come down here and start blending this down. And I might need to get a little bit more. That's okay. Just go slow. Remember, you can add more ink, but you cannot take it away. Okay? So now I need to come up here and make this a little bit darker. Okay, so now the only other thing I need to do are his little legs. And there it's such a tiny spot that you don't really, I mean, you can try to shade it right underneath his fur on his coat. And let's see, I think I did make his mittens red as well. Okay, now for his boots, an early espresso marker, real quick, because that doesn't need any shading or anything serious. For his face, I am going to, let's see, use, I hope I can remember, Blushing Bride. No, I'm going to use, uh, where did it go? Crisp Cantaloupe. Let me grab it real quick. Crisp Cantaloupe, I think, is going to be our closest skin color. And it's going to come out dark, so you might even want to use the blender pen with your Crisp Cantaloupe pad. I think that that might work better because then you can shade his face, okay? Well, that actually looks pretty good. And you can even with your marker do a little bit darker up here like this and around his beard because his beard would cast a shadow as well. And behind the mustache. Remember anything that's in front of something has a shadow behind it. And use your Blushing Bride to make some little rosy cheeks, okay, and his little nose. And then I just used my marker to make the candy cane. I thought that would make it look a little bit different than his jacket. All right, so that, we're going to put that square on top of, oops, the two and three-fourths inch cherry cobbler square and we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to put him on here, okay? Now his beard I left completely white but the fur on his hat and the fur well I gotta move the ribbon over, the fur on his suit are, I put um, dazzling details so you can put a layer of that, there we go um, okay, let's see. Now we need to do the enjoy little flag. You can see right here. Whoa, enjoy. And, oh, where did my enjoy go? 